Lizzie Trapaholics. So before I start, I want to apologise to everyone, just in case you might might sound a bit congested and all that kind of stuff there, is due to uh, just recovering from a fever, a, a mild fever, but a fever. Anyway, let's go for it. Lemachenko versus Devin Haney, the fight Saturday night just gone. Now, first, before I start, I just want to give a big congratulations to both fighters, because it was a fight, it was a great fight. Um... Yeah, both fighters gave it all, and yeah, there's nothing much I can say say about it. Just a high level chess match. Yeah. Now, obviously, I'm gonna go through the scorecards, my scorecards, and how I had it. All right. So, from round one, I gave it to Devin Haney. All right. Round two, Devin Haney. Round three, Lemachenko. Round four, Devin Haney. Round five, Devin Haney. Round six, Devin Haney. Round seven, Lemachenko. Round eight, Lemachenko. Round nine, Devin Haney. Round uh, 10, Lemachenko. Round 11, Lemachenko. Round 12, Devin Haney. So I had it five rounds to five. Sorry, seven rounds to five in favor of Devin Haney. A lot of people out there are trying to call this a robbery, right? This fight was a robbery. Lemachenko deserved to win and all this kind of stuff there. Now, I'm going to go through the rounds, yeah, on what what's the highlights of what actually happened throughout the rounds. But before I get onto that, most of you guys out there don't know what you, you don't know boxing, yeah? And especially when you're just guys that just listen to the commentary, yeah? And they're thinking, oh yeah, well, you know, the commentary saying this and, you know, the shot from Lemachenko and all this kind of stuff there. You're not seeing what Devin Haney's doing in there. The body attack, the body assault. Yeah, especially from round one. Yeah. That round one was all Devin Haney. Devin Haney was the aggressor. Devin Haney pressured pressure the fight. Lemachenko landed what there's a couple a couple of shots, but it was all Devin Haney. Yeah. Um you had obviously that I did gave Lemachenko because he did land quite a few shots if I'm honest in round three some people would say um, yeah he, 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 landed, he landed quite a few shots the, look within the fight it was a whole nip and tuck round it's like pushing it was a push and a pull fight yeah uh, both guys were giving it all were giving it the all yeah but the body the body attack from Devin Haney from the early stages like how can that go unnoticed and especially, like I said, we got the likes of Chris Algieri, yeah, who who was dealing who was dealing on our side of the pond. Not mentioning none of the like Haney's work on what he's doing. Yeah, he's being a villain and all this kind of stuff there. Look, listen, we know we know what it is over there. Like I said, I'm not from there, but I, I get I get where yeah I get where the issues are coming from over there on that side of the pond. And all that kind of stuff there but look if you are a boxing fan and you not not this this does not go to the casuals all right and the fanboys and all this kind of stuff there if you're a boxing fan and you're like you know what let me watch this fight with no volume i could guarantee you you are scoring that fight completely different yeah because you hear the crowds raving up because what because lemachenko lands a four punch combination yeah and the crowd's going wild does not but he just scuffs one of, like he lands the four punches misses three of them and lands the last one but the last one was a light touch like do you get what i'm saying there's a lot of that going on the body attack the uppercuts the right hooks to the body from haney yeah another thing that people out there are saying about you know Devin haney um yeah lemachenko pressed the fight we talk about lemachenko pressed the fight it was haney that was on the front foot Haney came for Lemachenko. Haney pressed the action. You didn't see Haney on the back foot. To be honest with you, Haney neglected the jab. He generally neglected the jab. He wasn't even using the jab. Like, I, I would have preferred hit, preferred him in the back foot. If I'm honest, but yeah, he 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 was coming. He, he was meeting Lemachenko, and he was putting Lemachenko on the back foot. 
So all this whole talk about, you know, he pressed the action and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, bro, most of these guys don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Anyway, for the first, like I'll say, yeah. Five, like six rounds, it was, it was kind of like, yes, Lemachenko, um, I, yeah, I, get, I gave him, the, I gave him the third round, but really, if I'm honest with you, there was nothing much in it. It was like it was a whole nip and tuck, whole nip and tuck throughout the bout. This is where I'll say it would change. And another thing as well, yeah, I know because I know there's a lot of people that are going on to that Marathi guy. Now I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of that ju ju judge. That's the same judge that gave the 10-10 round against the Garcia and Davis, if I can remember. So I'm not a fan of him. But one thing I'm going to be honest, all right? I have watched round 10 on a couple of occasions now. Yeah, and if I'm honest with you, yes, Lemachenko landed some good quality shots, but I'm gonna be real with you. Haney was pressing that action in that in that fight. So the fact that that Marathi guy, I think his name is Marathi, Dave Marathi, whatever it, is, scored it in Haney's favor. Not that I agree with it. Yeah, I do not agree with that um, result, but I can. He has a valid point from what I see. If you take if you take the biasness out and you actually watch that round, you yeah, watch it in slow motion, whatever. I've done it on a couple of occasions. Yeah. I I have no problem with that. Now if it was round eleven, whole different ball game. Like that's the most significant round Lemachenko had. Round eleven. If round eleven and yeah, he done it in round eleven. I'm with I'm with you guys. Like, nah, that's some funny business and all this kind of stuff. There, I'll be I'll be on it. Ah, uh, like, cause yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of robberies and all this kind of stuff. There, I will be on it. I'll be on that case. But there was no robbery in this. It was a close fight. Like, honestly, watching it live, Haney, Lomo, or draw, I had no problem. I had no problem with any of the results but if i'm honest with you i wasn't really scoring yeah when i went back and scored a fight i was like oh wait a second no i hate he was in control of this and that's i'm biased i haven't got a horse in the race i like, don't get twisted i'm not a fan of lomachenko you know making haney um become you know like the wbc champion where lemachenko becomes franchise and all that kind of stuff there no i wasn't happy with that no i don't i didn't believe that haney deserved to give lemachenko a shot but you know what he did he did and he got the win now a lot of people out there are saying about yeah it was a robbery and all this kind of stuff there me like i said if any anyone yeah from a professional fighter to a pro to a guy who's analysis on boxing like if anyone yeah, believe that that was a robbery. I challenge anyone, yeah, to watch this bout, watch this whole bout with me, yeah, and tell me how this was a robbery. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm, you, I can only justify a Haney win, the right man won, and that's honest truth, yeah. Like call it for what, call it for what you want to call it. Now I'm gonna be real with you. Haney, better be careful if he's going to go up against Shakur Stevenson or, a, or a Davis. Now, I do favour um, Haney to beat Davis and Stevenson, but yeah, there's a lot of things he needs to not do. That he like, yeah, there's a lot of things he needs to not do to get that win. So yeah, like end of the day. Most of these guys out here, like, yeah, they don't know what they're watching. They generally do not know what they're watching. They they talk about they talk about um, boxing and robberies and all this kind of stuff. They don't know you like it's a joke. I don't get it twisted. I can get how the judges can um, make you think. And another thing as well for all you Lemachenko fans, yeah, or all, all you all you boxing fans, whoever whoever like you know said it was a robbery. I want you to be honest with yourself. Do you think when you go back and watch that fight, and you and you think um, you go with a Lemachenko win, yeah? 
Tell me if you believe that Lomachenko done enough to take, yeah, to strip and take, uh, take those the four belts away from the champion. Because let's just put them. Let's just put. Um, let's just put Canelo in that position. You know you have to do a lot more than that. Another thing as well. Like not to come on the subject, but when Tyson Fury fought Wilder the first time, yeah. Tyson Fury, yeah, was, yeah. You could clearly see that Tyson Fury was winning most of those rounds. Yeah, and, that, and that's just being honest. Like watching it, don't get it twisted. Like I said, Wilder had a good solid jab there, but Tyson Fury was doing. To me, Tyson Fury was winning that even despite the uh, two knockdowns. That's that's the honest truth. So yeah, I want people to tell me that. Do you believe that Lemachenko done enough than what Tyson Fury did to win to, to yeah in the first Wilder fight? Yeah. When you talk about robberies, yeah, look at the Lemachenko fight and then look at Jack Catchell versus Josh Taylor. Are you going to try and tell me that Taylor? Don't catch all done. Listen, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, if you guys are out there still screaming robbery, it just shows me your knowledge of the sport. That's all. And that's all I've got. That is all I've got. Yeah. It's Elijah Finn. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.